In the 1800s, this area was visited by Lewis and Clark. And today, I have something special to show you. Hey everyone, it's Cashew. Today's adventure brings us to Union, Kentucky to Big Bone Lick State Park. And they have a, a tiny museum, has some artifacts they've gotten from this area. I want to share that with you. I want to give you a little bit of history about the place and I have a surprise for you. So let's get started. Our adventure starts here. Outside the museum is a sign that gives you a little bit of background about the place. And it says Lewis and Clark in Kentucky, Big Bone Lick. In October 1803, while traveling down Ohio River to meet William Clark for expedition to Pacific, Meriwether Lewis visited Big Bone Lick. He was to gather fossilized bones for President Thomas Jefferson. In September 1807, Clark supervised a three-week dig for bones at Jefferson's request. Scientists considered William Clark's dig at Big Bone Lick in 1807 as establishing American vertebrate paleontology. Bones found here by Clark included mastodon and mammoth. Prehistoric Native American artifacts found were given to Dr. William Goforth in Cincinnati. Let's go inside and check out the museum. I like how they made social distancing relevant to Lewis and Clark. Here are some artifacts from 450 million years ago. The first known remains of ancient bison were discovered here in 1807 by William Clark. They date over 10,000 years ago. Today its genus is represented by its direct descendant, the Plains Bison. And the bison is an immigrant to the New World from Asia via the Bering Land Bridge. Let me give you an idea of how big this ancient bison stood. Here's another Ice Age creature known as Harlan's Ground Sloth. And wait till you see how big this guy is. Even though it's a small museum, they have some wonderful specimens. Now that we're outside, there's a couple things I want to show you. Outside is a display of creatures who used to roam this land. And this is the sloth whose skeleton you saw inside the museum. I really like the bark on this tree, and if you know what kind of tree it is, let me know in the comments below. Before I leave, there's one more thing I want you to see. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Apparently, if you're very lucky, you might see binoculars here. We're almost there. Now that's a cool tree. Before seeing the bison, there's this sign. If you'd like to read it, just hit pause. I'm not sure if you can see in the background, but there's one of the bison now. We're getting closer. And this is what I wanted to show you. They had a calf born yesterday and one born four days ago. Let me see if I can get a closer view for you. I'm not sure if you can see, but in the distance is one of the calves. The bison that's staring at us is the bull and sired the two calves.
Oh yeah, they'll if they decide to follow the herd, they probably will. They like hiding in the woods. That was a lot of fun. Went to a museum, saw some artifacts, and I got to see bison up close and personal. And I'd seen somewhere that the staff here were considered the friendliest of all the state parks, and I agree. Everyone was really helpful and friendly. And I recommend you coming up here and checking this place out. I think you'll enjoy it. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell, and share in your social media. Until next time, everyone, this is Cashew. Signing off.